Hey everybody, it's Carla. Welcome to the Happy Bookmaker. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, everything is A-OK -okay around here. Having a really nice day, as a matter of fact. In um, mid-August already. Wow, the time is going and I couldn't be happier because <laughs> I think I mentioned I'm a fall winter person. So September's right around the corner. I know it's not really fall, but you know, I, it gives me the idea that it's coming. So I thought today, we would get back to working on my art journal because it's been a hot minute since I've worked on it and I can do, I guess, let's just do a little quick recap here of what has been done. And remember, it's um, a children's book and it's one of these hardcover books. Um, they're great to work in. They're very sturdy. They lay nice and flat. I mean, not maybe not like completely flat, but um, you can do anything to them, seriously. Um, I do lay down a coat of gesso, of white gesso. Hold on a second, let me grab that. Like this, which I just picked up at Walmart. Um, it, I don't know if it's the greatest, but for my purposes, it seems to work pretty well. Because what you wanna do is create a surface that you can paint on and do anything that you want on and, and like cover up, which is what I did for today's layout. Cover up the background a little bit, not cover it completely, but um, just make a surface that you can do things on, right? Okay, so just a little flip through here. Of, this was uh, my romance layout that was, um, like I said, I think it's been a couple of months. This is what we're gonna work on today. This was my very first layout, and I did not do it on camera with you guys, but it was the first one uh, that I got started on. And this was, I think um, my third layout, and this was a flocks that I painted, and then um, photography of my own um, from my garden, and I just cut those out, those daisies, and I, I really love this one. I think this turned out so well. And then this one, which interestingly, um, it, it got a lot of attention, it, it did in the beginning anyway, and I really don't have any of my own art on here at all, except for I took the palette, like the paper palette that I work on sometimes, and I, I liked all the colors on it, so I put that down as a background. And then these cut out images, and it people just, everybody just really loved this one, and I love it too. Um, and then we've got one more after this, and then the cover. So, let's get started. So what we're gonna do today, let me give you a little idea. I pulled this stuff quite a while back. I knew what I wanted to do, and it's going to be a sort of, um, well, it is a Scottish kind of theme, and it was based on this image that I found in a book of, it's like, um, I think this one was like England, um, but it, you know, Scotland is, you know, obviously it's in that area. So it was like art, um, images and history, art history from that area. And I like this little guy, he's, he's my little Scottish guy. And it's called, let me see, I'll show you where, what I cut him out of. Clan MacDonald of Glencoe, uh, Clans of the Scottish Highlands, uh, London, 1857. So I just love this image and it, it's what inspired me to do sort of a Scottish layout. So now, <laughs> this is from a book that I just made into a writing journal. It was the uh, A Gentle Feuding book, and we made it into the Pretty Gray and Floral writing journal. So this was the cover. It was a hardcover book, and of course, over in this area was the image of the couple, because it was a ro it's a romance novel. And um, they were lovely, but I didn't really want them <laughs> in my uh, in my layout. And it was, it was a tad risque, because you know, it's a romance novel. So, um, but here we've got um, an image of the Highlands, and we've got a castle. We've got the heather, we've got a lake, we've got another little castle in the background. So that is gonna be laid down as part of the background. So it's gonna be these two. And then also, just to add a little interest, this is uh, this is German, it is not Scottish, but it's beautiful antique book page. And that's gonna be laid down, kind of going like this underneath. And then he's gonna go right around here. 
And then since um, bluebells are kind of a Scottish flower, a heather is very Scottish, but as it turns out, so are bluebells. We're gonna have a little bluebell cut out, and this is from that uh, Macmillan Book of Wildflowers book that I use a lot. And so that's gonna go over here. And for some reason, I cannot get over this cute little owl. So um, I'm gonna throw him down in the mountains over here. So what we're gonna do with paint is I'm gonna do blue up in here and we're gonna have a little sky, maybe a little white. And then down in here, I'm gonna do this, um, I'm gonna start with green and then I'm gonna like blot in or paint in like this heather, which is very easy to do with a brush like this. So I'm going to be like trying to blend the paper. It, you know, it's got a thickness, so I, I'm not sure if it'll be unnoticeable that there's paper here, but we're gonna kind of blend those together. And so we're gonna have the blue and we're gonna have the green and the heather down in here. And I think it's gonna be beautiful. So the first thing we're gonna start with is, let me make a few marks on here because I wanna see about where I need the blue to end and um, so that, you know, cause I don't need to do the whole thing in both colors, if, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna mark here and do just kind of a little outline. I'm gonna come a little bit beyond that or below it, but um, it doesn't really matter how far up I go over here. It's more of making sure that I kind of end it in the right place you know, you know what I'm saying? And then this part can be blue as well. And then down in here is going to be the blue or the uh, green and the heather. Okay. And then I'm gonna do, I think some little like birds. You know how you do like the little V birds? They're like a little, choo -choo, that kind of thing. So I think I'm gonna do a few of those. I don't, I don't know why. <laughs> I just feel like I want to do that. And let me just kind of bring this line across here so that can this can all be the green. Okay, let's get started painting. So I've already pulled out my paints. Um, I think we're gonna do a little Theocyan Blue. Theocyan Blue, these are acrylics. We're gonna get this going with the sky first. I will be stopping in between to, um, you know, let paint dry. And um, I won't make you watch the paint dry. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'll quit the vid, I'll stop the video and we'll, um, you know, pick it up again. Since I know how to edit a little bit now, we can do that, right? So we've got the blue and a little white. Now I'm gonna mix it up with, um, with a little bit of white. I'm gonna use this big brush because what I'm trying to do is kind of cover as much area as possible. I might need more white in here. I don't even mind if it's a little bit streaky. I think that that might add to the look. Oh gosh, I shouldn't have shut that, okay. I haven't used my acrylics for a while, so they're a little bit, they're a little sticky on the lids. Okay, just get that kind of mixed up. Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave it kind of streaky. That's kind of cool, huh? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is kind of come up. I just wanna make sure I kind of go below my pencil marks here, if that makes sense. Oh, one more thing. We want to put something behind so that we're not getting on the pages that are below this. So I'm gonna do that. Oops, I got all kinds of stuff here. Okay, all right, let's start. Okay, I think that's good, I think that's good. Okay, I'm gonna wash out my brush. Okay, oh, now I got it on my finger. <laughs> I washed out my brush really well and blotted it on my towel. So I'm debating which green I wanna use. Um, 
this one is a little bit darker. It, I broke it. Um, if I can't open it to use, then we're gonna go with the other one. You know, let's just go with the other one. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of um, this, um, oh, that's permanent black, and that's fine. Either black or the Payne's Gray I would use. Actually, I've got my Payne's Gray right here. Let's do that. It's just a little bit less of a harsh black. Oh yeah, this is running low. <laughs> Luckily, I don't need much. I don't need much. So what I'm gonna do is first lay down a really dark green layer. And that's gonna be my background that we are going to build upon. And then I'm gonna do a little bit lighter green around it. And then we're gonna go in with our pinks of our Heather, reds and pinks. Okay, so <laughs> through some trial and error, I came up with this really deep kind of slate, I'm gonna call it kind of a slate green, and that's because of the Payne's Gray. So it doesn't really matter because this is just supposed to be like the dark background, and it, we're gonna be doing greens over it and that sort of thing. So um, let's just come in here, get a good, oh, I actually like that. Yeah, it's kind of a grayish green and we'll be coming in with lighter greens and that pretty heather yeah just keep going up and I'm just kind of going over my line so that um, we're sure that it's covered Okay, now I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna go around here and kind of wipe this off because I do have, you know, a layout on the other side that um, I don't want this paint sort of, you know, going around the corner and getting on. It's because it got a little, a little gloppy on this side here. So I'm just kind of wiping that off. I think I'm gonna let this dry for a few and um, I'll be right back. So I decided to come in, I'm, it's still not completely dry, but I decided to come in and put a little spot of brown in this green to make it look more like, you know, um, well, like a brownie green because it, that's really what it looks like in the, um, in the book cover. So I'm going in and I'm just kind of touching this up because that brown is gonna show through and um, it, it was just a little bit too one dimensional, even for the background. So that's really all I'm doing right now. And, um, and then, <laughs> then we're gonna let it dry. Okay. Okay, so this paint is nice and dry. So the next thing we're gonna do is lay down the images. So let's see, we need to start with Kind of we need to start with this guy because this is going to, our Highlands image is going to go over it. Let's see here, something like that. Okay, so let's get out the Fabri-Tac and start gluing. a little yeah once this is down we're good we're in good shape okay I just love this and even though it's German who cares it looks really good okay <laughs> and after all that's the most important So we're just gonna, this is already kind of, there's no other way to lay it. So we're just gonna put it down here. See, I didn't even get all the way up like I should have, but it's okay, because it's gonna be covered with um, the pink. And I've already corner rounded this edge with my little corner rounder thingamajig. 
this is where it sometimes gets tricky is in the fold. So I wanna, if I can get this up now. Okay, I'm gonna pry this up with this. It's not actually down all the way, but uh, I wanna get lots of glue right in here. So that's down. here and then I'm going to give it a fold so that it knows where it's supposed to end up. I'm just going to smooth this out. Yeah, that already looks cool. I really like that. Okay, we'll give her a fold. See, it wants to shift a little, so we're going to help it stay there. Fold it over, fold it back. Okay, just push down. I can feel there's some air bubbles in here. Okay, let's put down our guy. Let's put down our little Scottish guy. So he's gonna go right in here and he's gonna kind of cover up that gap. We're gonna do it right here. And I just wanna, before I really get it down good, I wanna make sure, cause I like to kind of go over that. I'm gonna pull it over if I can. Just a little tad. Yeah, I'm gonna get a little bit more of that scene showing. Because I do want this to over, overlap him a little. Yeah, I like that, okay. <laughs> okay, he's down. He's down. He's down, our little Scottish guy. <laughs> Okay, let's get this down. Like I said, I want to kind of overlap. I did, I got a little bit of this green paint on there by accident. So we're gonna mask that a little bit, just like that. Oh, that's that's beautiful. Who would have thought that bluebells were a Scottish flower? I found that when I was doing a little research on this. I'm trying to figure out what was appropriate for a Scottish sort of layout. I'm kind of obsessed with Scotland and uh, I think I became obsessed when, uh, well, when I first saw Gerard Butler. <laughs> and what more needs to be said, right? Okay. Like so. Oh, pretty, really pretty. It is gonna need some outlining to give it a little bit, oops, of, um, to make it stand out a little bit. Okay, so we've got our nice dark background here. And I'm just gonna like, we're gonna just like punch in some of that pink and red. We're gonna go with that for now. I'm gonna wait for the owl because I haven't decided for sure. I do really like it. It's not really Scottish, I don't think, but there's just something about this owl that I really like. And it kind of ties in, um, it kind of ties in with our Scottish guy. And I don't know why, unless it's just the paper color or he's got a feather in his hat there. But I think I am gonna be doing that. So let's get on with the painting. Let's continue with the painting. Okay, so I did do a little blob of green to do a little punching in of some lighter green. I'm gonna wet my brush and I'm gonna try it first with this. And I'm not even gonna add anything to this right now. Um, should I add, maybe, it's very close. Let's see, we'll, we'll, we'll play with it, okay. I think it could be a tad darker or maybe with a little brown, hold on. Okay, so I added a little brown over here. Just, it's just not quite that bright of a green. You can kind of, can you kind of, oh, I'm covering it up. You kind of see it's um, kind of a brownie green, 
you know, more like of a, a warm tone. So I'm just gonna kind of punch some of that in. I'm curious to see how this is going to like blend the, the seam of the paper. I think it's gonna be okay. Oh yeah, that's a great green. That's great, okay. And I'm, I'm okay with kind of going over him a little bit because we're gonna have that heather sort of going around. And if not the heather, we're going to have um, the greenery. So this is a great way to sort of stipple in greenery and bushes and trees and shrubs instead of, you know, you don't have to like paint with single brush strokes, these things. Get a little bit in here. So we're, we're okay with having that overlap. I don't want it to look like this has just been pasted on, but that it's part of the scene. Okay, so let's get a little pink and green on here, or pink and red, sorry. Okay, so we're gonna mix up some of this pink and red, and I might have to add a little brown to this too, but I'm thinking about pulling in a little of the green. That was too much, okay. <laughs> yeah, you know what, it does have a yellowish tone to it, so maybe a little bit of an orange. Okay, hold on. Okay, let's put in a little bit of this orange. I'm just gonna put it over, oh, that's a lot, okay. Okay, sometimes I don't know my own strength. Okay, and just mix in a little bit of that. Yeah, see how it kind of gives that more of a, that warmish look. this blended. And maybe, okay, that's pretty good. Maybe a tad more pink. Just got just a little more muddy than I wanted it to. That's pretty good. And then we can also go over it with, um, like we're gonna do other tones of it is what I'm trying to say. So we're gonna go over it with even lighter pink. I'm gonna put, add a little bit of white and then maybe even a little bit more orange as well. And I'm gonna go right over the others to just blend it in. And this is kind of our darker pink Heather. So before we do that, this is still a little wet. Let's go ahead and put down the owl. I think I want the owl. Let's do the owl. That'll give that a little bit longer. Yeah, it's just a little tacky yet. I like it, I've liked it since I saw it. <laughs> Might as well use it, right? This is gonna be so fun, such a fun layout. Anybody watch Outlander? I I haven't seen, I did not see last season because I, I don't have, like I said, I don't have cable anymore. And I know I could just get stars and watch it, but um, I'm holding out. <laughs> I'm hoping it shows up on something later. I love it, but I, I can live without it for a little bit. Like, you know, I'm not an obsessed fan. I love it, but I'm not obsessed. Interestingly, the male character in this uh, romance novel, his name is Jamie. What do you know? Whatever's left of the book I should read because it could be could be a good one. Whatever I haven't torn out of it. Okay, oh, I do like the owl. Don't you like the owl? I like the owl. You see that? Can I get a little closer? <laughs> He's kind of overseeing everything, isn't he? That's pretty good. Okay, yeah, that green is still a tad wet. We're gonna let it dry for just a couple more minutes. Okay, this is dry enough. Hopefully my paint didn't get too dry. And we're going to now just kind of start stippling it on. Stipple, stipple. No, that's a little, that's a little much, okay. But we are gonna be going over it, remember, with other colors. 
colors. And this might not even be the right brush. We'll have to see here. I could try with, see this one's just a little big. Let's, let's see what happens. but I like it better. Look, do you see, do you see what that's doing? Yeah, I like that. And I can still use this one to get things like a little bit more opaque. And a little Heather going around the bottom. Oh, I like that. I don't know that I'm gonna be able to hide that line completely, but um, you know, it's just, it's just the idea of it. Okay, I'm back over here. <laughs> there are too many things going on. Okay, let me try. This is such a small spot. I might need to use this one anyway. Okay, I'm just kind of dab that off a little bit. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of. I know that this is a little more dense than I want it, but we're just gonna get some of this color over in here. This is our darker heather color, darker pink heather. Maybe I need that though to kind of conceal some of that. Yeah, I just, I think it's just gonna be there, but that's okay. Yeah, just a little bit in here, just a little bit in here. Okay, I think that's good for a background. And then I'm gonna do um, a shade lighter. I'm gonna add a little bit of white and come back in and do another coat. And then I'm gonna do that sort of orangey color too. But uh, we gotta let this dry for a minute. Be right back. Okay, so I decided while this is waiting, or uh, drying rather, we are gonna do a little bit, uh, we're gonna do those birds because that's all dry. You know what, actually? Let's do a little bit of white over this guy first. Okay, new plan, new plan. And then we'll do, we'll probably end up doing the birds at the very end. So a little bit of white right here. And let's do, I just wanna kind of swipe a little bit on So it's not so, um, you know, blue. <laughs> I get this really kind of watery. Yeah, my water, my water's dirty, so it's a little, a little brownie. Okay. So I'm just gonna kind of go on the side and yeah, just get some little. Just pretend there's little. You know, it's a cloudy sky. Yeah, just sort of like that. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to letting uh, the dark pink dry. Be right back. Okay, so I, oh, I didn't mean to grab some of that orange, but that's okay, it'll it'll work. So I have go, gone ahead and pulled some of this white over into my red here to get that lighter pink that we've got going on right down in here. I found these brushes in the garage uh, while I was on a break. I don't know, we'll see. They're, they're, it's kind of straight. Oh, I'm not even showing you, okay. So I don't know if it's gonna give me the stipple look that I want, but we'll see. Well, well, let's try it. Okay. Eh. Well, kind of. It, it it's kind of working. Okay. Okay. Can you see that? Let's see. It's kind of doing it. Just the other brush, which is has a perfect surface, is a little big. And even though I thought I had another one that was smaller, I couldn't find it. So actually this is working. 
so we've got, I'm just gonna keep going along here with the lighter pink. Kind of just tying these two together. I'm gonna go along the bottom. And I'm gonna have to hold it down with my hand because it's like jumping all over. There we go. Yeah, oh, I like that. That looks really good. Okay. It's like the muddier it is, the better. The more sort of realistic it looks. And I've accidentally <laughs> gotten a little bit of green on it, but that's okay because there is green in that, right? So, a little bit more of this going. I might have to get out a little bit more pink. But again, it doesn't, we don't want it to be solid. It doesn't, we don't want it to be solid. And I'm kind of pulling this over to incorporate the paper with the book background. I'm gonna then do maybe a little bit with the, a little tad of orange in it, just to kind of top it off. I know this looks a little muddy over here, but it's, it's all, it's all good. It's all good. See, it works better if I hold the page down. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm going to rinse out my brush and we'll get back to it. Okay. So I found this, um, this more peachy paint. It is called, oh, it's called flesh. Okay. Pretty orange, <laughs> but, um, I think it's better than the orange and I've mixed it with a little bit of the pink. And um, so we're just gonna get some of those kind of orangey highlights going. And I've got a little bit smaller brush because these are just sort of highlights. Let's see how this looks. I don't know if you can see, like right about there, there's some of that peachy tone. It's also nice just to have, you know, have it not be so like monochromatic and Get some different different tones and hues and all that good stuff okay so this is still a tad tacky but it'll be okay so you can tad tacky okay so we're, okay it works better when i hold the page down i'm gonna do that okay <laughs> okay and of course i have white nails so they're like little mini canvases just waiting to pick up some paint you know what, I think I need a little bit more even of the peach because it's just kind of getting blended in. That's probably too much. Let me mix it up a little bit. Okay, that's better, okay. That is better. So I've just got a little bit too much on here. Yeah, 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 that's it. That's the ticket right there, okay. Just kind of pulls in, and then, you know, we're gonna kind of fudge it and actually take some of our paint over into this too, so that it looks like it was always there, right? You know, I think that that might be pretty good. Yeah. Let's, let's kind of cover up a little bit more of these leaves here. Okay, that's it for that. We're gonna let that dry a little bit. In the meantime, we're gonna do birds. A little birds up there. So I'm gonna take a skinnier brush, this little guy, oh gosh, I'm making a mess, this little guy, and some of this black paint. I broke the end off of this one too. Look at that. <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna get a little bit on here. 
want to be fairly runny so that it's get a nice little stream. So I'm just going to do like, um, you know, those little V's. Yeah, something like that. And we'll make some that are bigger, some that are smaller. Got some, we got some birds in the background. And it doesn't have the detail, obviously, of a real bird, but that's okay. Just gives the illusion. Just kind of dot them around. I think that's enough birds. <laughs> Maybe one over here. Let's put one over here. Maybe put a big one over here. Yeah. How about that? I like that. Okay. All right, so we've got the birds. So honestly, I think the last thing there is to do is to go around everything with either a pen or a marker pen. And I think what I've decided to do is one of these marker pens. And I think I'm gonna do this darker gray. Because I find that with this pencil, it's hard um, I find it hard to go over like the painted, you know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't, you really gotta scrub it in there. With this, it's a little bit easier. And it and it's not like a solid line. So do you kind of see what that's doing here? Maybe I can get this up a little closer to you. I'm trying not to stick my arm in the paint, but that may be unavoidable. I mean, I could even do the black, but I like this because it's already, it's a dark gray, so it's kind of already a softened version of black. And what that's doing, can you see it already? It's just giving it a little pop, a little pop from that background. Keep going with this. Okay, so I've pretty much gone around like the mountains back here and with this um, darker gray marker pen and, or paint marker, I guess it's called. And I've gone around all of this and I, I see I have to glue a little bit better here, but I've gone around the bluebells to make kind of a little shadow. So you can kind of see it's got a shadow on the paper. And uh, I am gonna go around down here. It's a little wet at this time, so I'm gonna have to hold off on that. But I wanna go, I started going around the owl and I thought I'd bring you back for that because I started to see major difference in the owl right away. And see now I, <laughs> I saw that I missed this, so I thought I better catch that. But I am gonna go around all of this as well. So I started up here. I know I'm kind of hiding some of it with my hand and then you can just see again how it just gives it a little depth just that little bit of outlining and the paper kind of soaks up uh, the brush marker on the end and then you just kind of go around okay go around and the paper is kind of soaking up some of that ink and then we're getting a teeny tiny little shadow around it yeah just like that and I may I mean I could go around it with black too but I feel like that has really given it some pretty good pop okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna wait for this to dry and I'm gonna go over that and I'll bring you back Okay, so I've started going around over here um, where it was still pretty wet and I debated about whether to go around our Scottish guy down in the bottom and I decided to do it even though I've done this to blend it in because I still like the idea that he's in a little sort of frame or vignette of his own even though we're overlapping the paint on here. So I've gone around with this dark gray paint marker 
and um, it, it just I just really like the look of adding that sort of shadow and um, I don't think it takes away at all from the paint I, as a matter of fact I quite like it I like the way this is turning out so we're almost done and then there's only one more art journal layout after this and then the cover and um, you can call her good so I'm, I just love the way it's turning out so um, and I love having you guys along for the journey um, I hope you uh, enjoy it and find it inspirational maybe makes you want to do some creating of your own and you know like as far as art there is nothing Van Goghish <laughs> or uh, you know there's nothing um, terribly um, what am I trying to say uh, it's not that perfect of an art is what I'm trying to say um, as far as what I'm doing it's you know stippling and um, you know, so you don't have to worry about, oh, I'm not that good of an artist. I haven't done anything here that anyone couldn't do. Seriously, so, okay. I think it's done. Oh, I love it, I love it. Okay, put on the cover of this little guy. Let's take away this. Oh, wow, She's so pretty. And there she is. <laughs> Get straightened out here. Yeah, I love this. And and I know you can see the line, but it almost kind of looks like there's like a little hill or something there, right? Um, but I think that it tied together really well with the colors. Uh, colors. And we've got our really cute owl, our wise old owl. We've got some birdies. we got our little Scottish guy. He's just like, you know, dreaming, looking off into the castle and over in the, over in the highlands and and um, he's got little bluebells beside him. And uh, yeah, I love the way it turned out. Hey, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. If you liked it, give it a like. And um, maybe uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so because it really helps my channel grow. And I appreciate you guys so much. And I uh, can't wait to see you next time. Have a great rest of the day and we'll see you then. Bye.